Hi, I'm Tiffany Domino with HowToEntrepreneur.org, and today I wanted to talk to you about how I was able to write more than 700,000 words of content um, on my website. I know that a lot of people know the power of content marketing. You know that it's important for getting traffic to your website or to get it, get customers to your business using the internet. And the internet is really, really powerful. Over half of the world is online. So if you're able to attract customers, a global audience using the internet, it can be really, really powerful for your business. But the thing is, to drive traffic online, you have to create content of some sort. Whether you decide to write ads, so that you're driving paid traffic, whether you decide to do podcasts, you still have to do descriptions, whether you decide to do videos, you still have to do descriptions there, and if you decide to blog, um, you definitely have to write content there. So there's really no way around building uh, content online, whether you decide to go the paid route or the free route. So in this video I want to share with you how I've been able to be efficient with that how I've really been able to push myself and write over 700,000 700,000 words of content for my website howtoentrepreneur.org so I'm going to open up my secret weapon <laughs> which is called site content and this interface that you're looking at right here is wealthy affiliate um, this platform I've been a member of for more than 18 months and basically at this platform you learn how to drive traffic online, you learn how to create content that sells, you learn how to build your customer relationships using the internet. And one strong area that they teach about is called affiliate marketing. Now, if you haven't heard of affiliate marketing before, affiliate marketing is really powerful, but it's really underspoken about and a lot of people don't understand really the power of it for the merchant and for the affiliate now uh, when it comes to the affiliate affiliate marketing is really the evolution of the sales force nowadays if you are in sales um, and you only cold call you don't have a social platform you're not uh you're not building relationships um and prospecting a lot you will not make money with affiliate marketing you learn how to how to get customers using the internet how to use customers using social media video marketing um paid ads all different types of things and you can work with several different merchants so you're not stuck with um, selling one product or service so with with affiliate marketing it you become really powerful because you can use the old school sales methods and you can use newer methods to attract an even larger audience and have even higher more sales more opportunity so um, with uh, affiliate marketing on the side of the merchant um, a lot of merchants aren't aware that there are people out there who are willing to work for commissions only um, who have their own brands who have their own followings um, because they build on social media because they build through video marketing because they have blogs they have engaged audiences and they look for products and services that would serve their audience well and if the merchants more merchants knew about that then they would be able to blow up their sales and income on the other side so Affiliate marketing is really powerful. Wealthy Affiliate is the number one place I would direct people to if they want to learn more about affiliate marketing, whether you're a merchant or whether you are, you're interested in becoming an affiliate. Um, I was able to learn from ground zero how to make money with affiliate marketing and as a result of the training here my income has literally grown month over month and I share my case studies here at Wealthy Affiliate if you're interested in seeing how an affiliate marketing business can grow. So back to the topic, how did I write this 700,000 words of content? This is the platform that I use is called site content and this is included in wealthy affiliates hosting. So um, 
I host my websites at Wealthy Affiliate as part of my premium membership. And um, as a result of that, I'm able to log on to Wealthy Affiliate and create blog posts here. You can see that I have 378 blog posts here. And um, so what I do is when I get an idea of something that maybe I should write on my website, I'll create a draft here and um, so I've done that 378 times so I actually have a lot of writing to do but I also have 439 that I've published from here and as you can see right now my word count is 828,180 words so Wealthy Affiliate will count uh, how many words you've written and it can really serve as a great motivator and then you have your writing stats so you can set goals um, let's say this month for example I wanted to write nine articles by September 5th so I still have four more articles to go but this um, metric here or the the calculators that track how much I'm writing are really very motivating so you can see that I've written um, my my goal of writing 18,000 words um, I've already accomplished that I still had um, I accomplished that two days ago and so I can set another goal let's say I want to write another 18,000 words by I think I can do it by the 5th of September so let me go ahead and set up that goal and I can save that here and it'll track my progress towards that goal and um, Grant Cardone says he says it a lot stay hungry stay broke so I, I think it's funny that he says that but basically what he means is that um, when when you feel like you don't have enough then you tend to push yourself so much so if you feel like you don't have enough time like maybe you're being time to do your homework or you're being time to do your work then that's when you really push yourself because you feel like I only have 10 minutes to get this done I really need to go as hard as I can to make sure I get this done the same thing with creating goals like writing goals if you feel like I only have until September 5th to get 18,000 words done then you tend to push yourself that much more you know that you can't really lollygag you can't spend too much time on social media you can't uh, over uh, talk too much when you're uh, at the grocery store during the day when you should be working um, you t you tend to prioritize differently when you feel that sense of um, scarcity and so uh, creating goals inside of site content really can help with that for me it's really helped a lot so you can see that I tend to write a lot and then it'll track down here um, how your writing has gone so you can see I've had some days where I'm writing a lot like on August 17th I wrote 11,538 words um, and some days I'm writing closer to 2,000 1,000 so um, over the course of um, a month I might have these like like uh, spurts where I, I write a lot on specific days other days I might be doing video other days I might be doing more with social media but either way this push and tracking helps me to remember what I've done so far and what I still need to do and um, you can go back and look <clears throat> And let's say, for example, I want to see um, how much I've written since April 1st. Um, and it'll show, it'll show you what your productivity has been. For me, since April 1st, I wrote 87,122 words. I published 31 articles. I had 27 that were indexed in Google. And um, then it goes back here and you can see that my writing's been pretty consistent over the course now I had some days where I just <laughs> um, I was uh, quite extra I wrote a lot um, but I like the fact that it tracks your productivity because it helps you to push yourself I can even push myself past um, something I've produced before but 
that's really what I wanted to tell you. There goes my timer letting me know that um, this video has gone longer than what I planned. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to show you how I was able to write more than 700,000 words over the last um, over the last year or my first year um, writing on howtoentrepreneur.org. Um, I have a lot more tips on writing efficiency and content writing and different practices that I do that help with my productivity in my content creation. And you can see those tips over at How to Entrepreneur. You can type in on my search bar efficiency and you'll get quite a few posts on efficiency, time management, and different things that I do. Top seven ways to increase efficiency. Um, how to start an affiliate marketing business. You can get lots of tips that I have on how to increase your efficiency in your business, whether that's in content writing or in other ways. So that's all I have for you. And I really hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, where I do product and service reviews, as well as growth strategies to help you grow a business from idea to enterprise, then definitely subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon so you can be notified of upcoming videos. So that's all I have for this video. And I really, really hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.